Kathleen and this is Chef Ian at your service. And I am their mom, Maria. So welcome back and let's get cooking guys. Here are the ingredients for our sauce. We're gonna need garlic, cumin, oregano, tomato bouillon and chicken bouillon, tomato sauce, tomatoes, onion and water. And for the rice? We're gonna need, of course, rice, oil, garlic and onion. Let's wash our rice. Our rice is nice and ready. So now we're gonna do our sauce. You're gonna do your sauce before you do your rice so you don't burn your rice because no one likes burnt rice. So what she's gonna do, she is going to blend everything together. So that means your tomatoes, your onion. And after you blend your sauce, after you do your sauce, make sure you taste it and you adjust the, the flavor, the salt. Just in case you wanna add more salt to it. Add your water. And now we blend. So um, we tasted our sauce to see if it was good because... And it doesn't need any more yeah, salt. For us, it's perfect. But if you need to add more salt or less garlic, it's however you want to do it. And Eileen likes to place his rice into that small bowl. Why? Because um, when you first drain it, it has a lot of water. And if you're going to pour it right when you drain it... Into the oil. Here, it's going to start splashing. And, and you, you get don't burned. Get burned. No. So you put it here and all that water collects here. That's a great tip, Eileen. Thank you. And you don't get burned. So now we can pour our oil into the pan. And we need to wait until it gets hot. Eileen, let's test if the oil is ready. Uh-huh, it's ready. So now we're gonna put our rice in. Good job. And what you wanna do is brown your rice. No. So what happens is the rice is going to change color to kind of like a brownish, kind of goldish color. And how brown you want it is hot. I mean, how, it's how you like it, really. We don't like it too, too dark because the flavor does change. So you just have to keep stirring and make sure you don't burn it. I'm cooking my rice at medium heat. And as you can see, the color of the rice is a little bit more white. Now, it's like three minutes that we've been cooking it. Now, Eileen is gonna put that um, garlic and the onion in. And we're gonna continue frying our rice. As you can see, our rice is changing color. And make sure you don't stop mixing or else you're gonna end up burning it. So this is how I like my rice. If you want, you can brown it more, but this is good for me. So now we're gonna add our sauce in and don't worry if it bubbles it's okay make sure you mix it and now we're gonna put it on low heat with a clear top so we can check on it just like this and we can see how our rice is going and alexa put a timer for 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes starting now and put your heat down to medium low and we're gonna cook it for those 20 minutes, right? Yes. And it's easier when you use a clear top you because can you can just shake it and see. Cool. And don't uncover it because you want your rice, yeah, all the steam. So we see you in 20 minutes. So we cooked our rice for a total of 30 minutes. After the first 20 minutes, we added another five minutes because we saw that it wasn't cooked yet. Well, we shaped it like this. We saw it wasn't cooked yet. And you always add five minutes at a time because you don't want to put too much time. It can get burnt. Every rice cooks different and this is we bought this rice at Costco, and um, it takes a little bit longer to get cooked than if you use jasmine or, you know, there's like different yeah. brands. So we recommend you add five minutes at a time because you don't want to burn it. So um, now it's perfect. We're just going to let it sit until we get ready to eat. And then we eat it. So we hope you enjoyed this amazing recipe with your family. And enjoy. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>